Turning now to our continuing coverage of the Marcus Wilson trial today, jurors heard testimony piecing together what led up to 17-year-old Haley Hutchison's death and the investigation that followed. Today's evidence included words from Wilson himself. WSAV's Brian Ray joining us live now from the Bullock County Courthouse. Well, Ben, this afternoon, jurors heard a phone call between detectives and Wilson two days after Hutchison's death, where he walks through what happened that evening from his point of view. Multiple law enforcement officials involved in the investigation testified today, including James Winsky, an investigator for the district attorney's office. He showed jurors GPS data from Wilson's phone, tracking his location the night of the shooting and the following day. Winsky testified Wilson's phone location matches surveillance video that appears to show his car and Mason Glisson's truck. In a phone call to lead detective Travis Kroon, who also testified yesterday. Wilson said in the moments leading up to the altercation, he was scared for his life. In that phone call, Wilson tells detectives that he fired three rounds at the tires of the car that Hutchison was in. Today, a firearms examiner with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation testified that there were four shell casings recovered from the scene, saying three were from the same weapon, but it's unclear if the fourth was due to damage. Court dismissed just before 5 o'clock this evening and will resume on Monday. Live in Statesboro, Brian Ray, WSAV News 3 on your side. Brian, thank you.